This is Molly Gunn with the Porter Beer Bar. I'm here with a special report on holiday beers. Uh, super exciting. The holidays are just around the corner. Uh, first tonight, we have Christmas versus Hanukkah, our draft takeover. Now, don't despair. If you haven't, been, you're not able to come out tonight, we will definitely have draft beers on tomorrow, uh, which are also many for you to try. We have 25, 25 different holiday beers on draft tonight, um, which is super excited. We are one of the chosen bars by Hebrew, um, which makes the chosen beers. Um, and so there are only 15 across the country, and so the Porter Beer Bar is one of them, which is a great honor. Thank you very much, Jeremy Kellen of Schmaltz Brewing Company, who selected those beers, those bars, and the beers. <laughs> um, so we've got 15 different beers on from uh, Hebrew, and then we have another 10 Christmas beers, uh, which are super exciting. So you may ask, what defines a Christmas beer? Um, well, traditionally they are dark, uh, a little bit of nice Christmas spice cinnamon or nutmeg in them, um, something that you would want to drink in the winter. But for example, Lagunitas made a great beer this year called Lagunitas Sucks Holiday Ale because they uh, usually make brown sugar, but they made a mistake and their brown sugar batch got messed up. So instead they made a great, delicious, hoppy IPA. Um, but they're calling that their holiday ale. So really it can be whatever you want. So that's awesome, right? Um, this is a great example. This is from Port Brewing. Um, it's called Santa's Little Helper, and it's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? It's stout and bourbon barrels. Um, then over here I've got um, Lenny's Rippa on Rye, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, Lenny's Rippa is kind of like a double IPA. It's 10%. It's made with rye. It's like a beautiful, I don't know if you can see, but a beautiful kind of um, amber color. but super intense, like nice hops, um, great caramel malts. And then it's aged, this one's aged in actual rye barrels, so it gives it even a little bit more. It's probably around 12% alcohol. Um, it makes it even more tasty, more rye, more alcoholic in flavor. Um, and then over here I've got Nishu. Uh, fun fact about Nishu, it is our number one holiday beer. We've sold 35 kegs uh, since we put it on at the end of, um, after Thanksgiving, we put the Nishu on. Um, so we super sell a ton of this. Um, our number two selling beer is St. Bernardus Christmas. Um, which is really nice, but um, Nishuf is, you know, dark, spiced, it's a winter beer, um, but it's not, um, it's not overly alcoholic, I think it's about 8%, and it comes in this fabulous glass, so how could you not love that? Um, but like I said, we have 25 different holiday beers on, so there's sure to be one that you're going to like. Um, we are open Christmas Eve until uh, 6 p.m. We're doing brunch like normal until 4 p.m. So we open at 11 a.m. Saturday, close at 6 p.m. And then Sunday we open again at 6 p.m. Uh, come out, we'll be serving our full regular menu, just no specials. Um, but it's Christmas, so it's special enough. Um, so come on out then, drink some delicious holiday beers, or come in in the next few days. But we'll have holidays through, uh, holiday beers throughout the holiday season. Um, and finally, we do have one more event on Monday. We're doing a Boxing Day, which traditionally you give money to um, you know your postman and the folks who help you out, who mailman. So it's the same thing. <laughs> you give them out to the folks who help you. It's a traditional British holiday, and um, give money to those folks. And so, in honor of that British holiday, we are doing a British beer takeover. We're doing five different British beers. We're doing Thornbridge. Um, some stuff from Ola Dub, um, just some delicious British beers, yeah, and they're awesome. So that is Monday, December 26th, so if you're bored, tired of hanging out with the family, come on out and see us at the corner, which is so exciting. Um, I think that's all I got, so I'm signing off. I will see you next week. Thanks for joining me.